On that negative gearing that we were talking about before and your proposal to limit that to new houses if you were elected, isn't it possible that currently you are contributing to inflated house prices in Melbourne and Sydney because investors are rushing to get properties they can negatively gear before Labor possibly becomes the next well, government? I don't think there's any evidence of that, Lee, but it's important. The, the only alternative uh, would be to surprise people or to have some sort of retrospective change. What we've said is we're giving people plenty of notice that this is what an incoming Labor government will do, will grandfather all existing investments. These reforms will last for decades. I mean, you don't change negative gearing every couple of years. We've got to get this reform right. Nobody has laid a finger on our reforms in terms of the technica technicalities of what we're proposing. Uh, these are carefully calibrated and designed reforms which are meant to and will be fit for purpose for any range of market circumstances which will change over the next 30 years. Uh, these are reforms which will provide more stability for the financial system because the high leverage in our economy, as has been called out even most recently, um, consistently by the IMF, the OECD most recently, is causing grave risks and concerns. It's good for housing affordability and good for the budget. On housing affordability, in a recent speech, the former Treasury Secretary Ken Henry pointed out that one of the most important economic reforms the country could make, in his view, is getting rid of stamp duty on residential property. What incentives could a federal Labor government offer the states to dump stamp duty? Well, of course, the ACT Labor government's already moved down that road, and uh, it's up to states and territories to consider whether they go down that road as well. It's primarily a matter for them. Uh, Can of you course, offer some incentives? Well, of course, then you've got the, com the complexity that's, that the ACT has already done it. So, so you've already got one territory or one jurisdiction moving down that road. Then if you provide further incentives for others, they will say, well, we've already done it. So these are complex areas. I think the Commonwealth and the state does need to be, do need to be working together. So, for Would example, you consider you, giving incentives? Uh, well, you, the, for example, Lee, um, you see Victoria moving on the weekend in a welcome reform. And this is one thing I agree with Scott Morrison. He says, oh, well, the Victorian reforms will be better if matched by federal action. Well, yes, I agree. The trouble is there is none. There is no federal action on housing affordability. Scott Morrison's out there talking again, a big game. He has delivered not one jot of a housing affordability strategy. We're out of time, unfortunately. Chris Bowen, thank you very much. Pleasure, Lee.